Hello everybody. Today we're going to be tying a wet fly. It's really uh, a variation of a uh, soft hackle wet fly. What I've done is put a small size 16 pupa hook in my vise and I've cut off a piece of mallard flank imitation wood duck that I'm going to use instead of woodcock or grouse or partridge. And these barbules are actually too long to be wound around the shank, but I'm going to show you a different way of doing it if you want to do this in the future. I've taken off my barbules from the stem and I'm going to measure them to the length I want, which are approximately the length of the shank of the hook. And then I'm going to move them up and I'm going to soft wrap and anchor them. to the hook and wind right up to the eye. Now they sort of rolled around the hook and that's what I want as I did that. I didn't keep them in place and they rolled to the bottom of the hook. Now I'm going to take another section of my mallard flank And I'm going to align these tips so that they're the same length as the tips that I just put on. And I'm going to attach them to the hook. More on the top of the hook. The other ones rolled under the hook and surrounded the hook. These are more up on top of the hook. Lock those in. Trim the excess, and we're done with the hackle part so far. Now I'm going to change the angle of my hook, and I'm going to attach a piece of gold wire. This is actually going to be a small gold ribbed hair's ear wet fly that I have used in May with tremendous success during the caddis, Mother's Day caddis hatch. I do them in olive and I do them in tan. So I'm going to do a standard gold rib here's your hackle. I mean uh, soft tackle right now. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is take my hairline dubbing, and this is the hair's ear mixture. I'm going to dub up my, wax my thread, both sides. And I'm going to do this up high so you can see. I'm just going to touch my thread with the dubbing. I don't even have to take it out of the pouch. And that's enough dubbing right there. Now I'm going to twist that into a dubbing rope. And I'm going to wind that onto the shank of the hook. Now you can see I didn't dub all the way up to the end and that's helpful for me to let my thread travel back to the rear of the hook. Once I get to where the wire is, I'm going to go one wrap behind the wire, pull out those back hairs, and then in front, and in front, and I'm going to build up my body to my liking. Now, I'll readjust my hook. And I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to counter wrap it. That means I'm going to go towards me under the shank and then over the top. And I'm going to try to space these out evenly. 
gives me a nice little segmentation and some flash in the fly. When I get up to where my thread is, I'm going to tie it off. Lock it in with a couple good wraps. And then, instead of dulling your scissors, just wiggle this back and forth. And there it goes. Okay, we're looking good so far. Now I'm just going to wind back onto that a little because I'm going to put in a nice two barbules of ostrich hurl. Actually, for this size fly, I think I only need one. So I'm going to tie in one dun colored barbule, gray colored. And then I'm going to advance my thread up to the eye. And I'm going to take and wind. Each time I go around, I know I'm going to pinch that on the opposite side. So I know I'm blocking your view, but uh, that keeps it. If I let go of it, it won't unwrap. I'm going to advance this forward. So just behind the eye. You can use hackle pliers if they grip good to do this. Drop my thread over. And trim that off. Now, to get my soft hackle, I pick up my bodkin with the hole in the bottom. And I'm going to encircle that, push those back. Try to get them spread out. They don't have to be perfect. But get some on some, one side with some on the other. And then I'm going to just start making a nice little small head at the top of this fly. Right behind the eye. Now that I'm done, I'm just going to find my whip finisher. Finish a nice little small head right behind the eye. And that's a nice small caddis pupa. When those small ones are out, put this on and, and fish it either under a dry or with a split shot where the caddis are hatching, and I guarantee you they will work 